Welcome back to another video. Today we're writing a Python program that's going to remove all non-letters from user input. So if this right here, this string is the user input, Ruben O24 space Ortega, it's just going to get rid of the 24 and the space and just print my name. So let's actually code it up. So we could declare a variable called user input and set it equal to input. Just so whatever the user enters on the keyboard will be stored in that variable. And then we could declare a string called, we'll just call it uh, only letters. I set that equal to just like an empty string. And in order to check if like the string only has letters in it, we're going to iterate through this whole string using a for loop. So we'll start at R. R is a letter, U is a letter, B, E, and O are all letters. Once we get to uh, 2, 2 is not a letter, so we're going to skip it. Same with 4 and same with space. So let's actually code that. Let's do a for loop. You could say for char and user input. Inside that for loop, we could have an if statement. We could say if char, we could say if char is greater or equal to capital A, and also if char is less than or equal to capital Z, and then we could do or. So we're pretty much going to copy this logic over here. Instead of it being capital, it's going to be lowercase. And I'll explain why it works right now. So we're pretty much saying um, we're going to be using ASCII values. We're going to see if char is between capital A and capital Z, or if char is between a lowercase a and then lowercase z. If it's between those, that means it's a letter. So we could say only letters plus equal to char. And now everything that's only a letter is stored inside of only letters. And now we just have to print it out, which is really easy. We just say print only letters. And then we're done. And then we'll run this example up here to see if it's actually working as intended. So we could run our Python file. And then we could type in the name. And you see how it gets rid of everything that's um, that's not a letter. Let's do it again. Let's see LeBron 23 James. So we should just give it to the 23 and put LeBron James all together which it does, so the program is working as intended. If this helped in any way, please leave a like and subscribe.